In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to install a smart lock and also the benefits to having one. As part of my ongoing effort to make my home a little smarter, I partnered with the Home Depot to make this smart home series. In the first video, I replaced my garage door opener. I went from a really loud motor that used a chain to a DC motor that used a belt. There's a lot to like about that upgrade and I'll link that video down in the video description. And with that said, I received a lot of feedback on the installation I did and I made some changes. For those of you who don't know, my background is in home automation, but on a large scale. And many things in my home is automated, including the motorized shades. But I never got around to updating the locks until now. I installed two of these locks at my most used entry, the front door, which makes a lot of sense, and also the garage side entry, mainly because I cut the grass and I like having that access coming in without having keys. I'll walk through some of the key features and why am I excited about this simple upgrade towards the end. When you think of a smart lock, it's a dead bolt. Same functionality, but it has electronics inside. I got started by loosening up the screws to remove the old lock. And after the assembly was removed, I took out the dead bolt. So let's look at what's included in the package. You have the touchscreen assembly, the back plate, the bolt, the inside assembly, along with all the hardware, backup key, and batteries. To start the assembly, install the bolt first. Mine lined up perfectly, but depending on your previous lock setup, it may be a bit different. And if so, some tweaking may be involved. The touchscreen assembly has a cable on it that will be routed through the door and under the bolt. While passing it through, you also need to line up the cam bar at the same time. Now install the back plate while routing the wire harness through the square hole at the bottom of the plate. After tightening the back plate, get the inside assembly and connect the cable. And this can only go one way. Line up the assembly, then use a screwdriver to tighten it up. Now all you have to do is install the battery into the holder and make sure the batteries are facing the door. Then drop the holder into the slot and put the cover on. As I'm doing the edit on this video, I realized I should have changed the handle to match the lock. Completely forgot about it. Good thing it's never too late. So let's take a look at the strike side of the door. The lock come with reinforcement screws and plate if you want to beef up security. I'm going to skip this step. I have cameras all around and I have the ring doorbell at the front door to notify me if someone step in this zone. Since I have a French door, the bolt and the strike lines up, so there's no need for me to change anything. Plus, this is a metal door and I don't have the ability to properly modify it. The next step is the fun part. Download the app and connect the lock to the Wi-Fi. Before covering the features on this lock, let me show you a really slick way to hide your spare key in the occasion the batteries die. You'll need a couple things, this PVC pipe, a prescription bottle, and a rock. This is going to go inside the planter box I made in the last video. The idea is to glue the rock to the prescription bottle cap. Regular hot glue and other adhesive may work just fine, but I'm going to use a construction grade hot glue stick. It says it's good enough for concrete, so I'm in. Cover the rock with masking tape and then spray paint on the PVC along with the bottle cap. And I went with black because that's the color of the weed barrier. Now clear out a spot for the PVC pipe. Push that down into the dirt and then surround it with rocks. And now that I figured out the best layout, just take your key, put it in the prescription bottle, put the top back on, drop it in the PVC, boom, there it is. Sadly, I cannot use this because I'm showing it on video, but there you go. The installation doesn't get much simpler and having a smart lock just bring a lot of convenience to your life. Now, knowing that this is a smart device, I'm pretty sure the question may come up is can this device be hacked? And at the end of the day, if it's a network device, it's sit on your network and it's hooked up to the internet, then there's a possibility that any device can get hacked if you're given the time. But personally, I would not let the fear prevent me from enjoying the technology. There's a lot of great when it comes to having a smart lock, but let's not forget that there is still one huge problem and that it solely relies on the internet. So if that ever goes down, you lose complete connection to your smart lock. And even though you may lose status with the lock, it still works as a normal lock. So this can lock and unlock with the local code. So everything will work locally. The fact that I don't have to carry a physical key is pretty important to me. It's one less thing that I have to worry about keeping up with. 
It's pretty hard to deny the benefit of the auto locking feature. I tend to have mine set to 30 seconds, so the minute the door closes, if there's no activity, the door automatically locks back in 30 seconds. So great if you need to run to a neighbor and you forget to lock your door, or you're just walking out. The only thing is, yeah, you go check your mailbox and you take too long, you may have to put the code in when you come back in the house. Some of the great perks to having a smart lock, other than looking cool, is being able to unlock and lock your door remotely. So especially if you have people coming to your house that you're not expecting or people that you are expecting, you can let them in by not even getting up from the sofa by just simply pressing a button. You can just give them a temporary code. You also get notified whenever the lock unlocks and it also locks back. Another plus is you can give out a code to your smart lock and it only works a certain time of the day or maybe a certain day of the week. This way you don't have any unexpected guests. At this point in time, I haven't fully integrated yet with all my systems that I have going on at the house, but I'm really looking forward to that. And one of my favorite features with the lock is the integration with the ring. If somebody stepped into that motion zone at my front door, I instantly get a notification. I can have a conversation with them or I can make a decision, do I let them in or not? So as I said, I'm trying to make the house as smart as possible and adjust with the time so this become part of my daily routine. Super excited about this. And if you guys have any questions or anything, drop them down below. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Oh, and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel.